Tapos ngayon. Eh? Oo. Ayos na, please. I don't want to touch the lion. Just yet, Mister. It's a matter of time before the water gets very cold. Get off! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, so, guys, uh, welcome to Nakel Stadium, and this is how it looks like. Yeah, this is Nakel Stadium. Um, many people don't know uh, the Nakel itself, but uh, it's found here in Rongai. Those who the, the residents of uh, Rongai knows it very well. And the sun is too much today, you know. Yeah, I'm shooting this uh, video much earlier. I'm um, used to shoot at in the late evening. That's at around six, uh, six, six in the evening. That's six p.m. But today I've decided to to shoot it a little bit uh, earlier. And I think I should face this side. Oh no, the sun is too much. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, it is uh, much better. So guys, uh, you know, welcome to Rongai. This is the view of Rongai. This is how uh, Rongai looks like during the day. And um, yeah, this is one of the chilling spots. Like you can come relax here in the, this stadium as we are waiting for the matches to begin. You see, this is the goalpost. As you can see right here, this is the goal. The goalpost. And... Uh, yeah, the matches are about to begin. Oh, um, it's around us uh, 16, 1605. That is 4 p.m. in the evening, and uh, the sun is too much hot. You know, <laughs> it's just right there. It's heading slowly, and uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, one thing about Rongai, Rongai is a cool place. Uh, many people love Rongai. Like many people live here in Rongai. Yeah, and Rongai, uh, distance from Rongai to town, like Rongai to the CBD Nairobi, it's not so far. It's approximately around, uh, um, let's say, um, close to maybe 15 kilometers. I'm not sure, but I'm going to <laughs> to confirm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, the distance, um, you know, Ronga is located, uh, I think it's the western part of Nairobi, yeah. So, like, Nairobi is on the other side. But Ronga is also considered as Nairobi because uh, many people move, uh, work here, work in Nairobi and live in Rongai. Like, and vice versa, live in uh, town and work in Rongai. So, this is how it looks like, you know. And, uh, yeah, it is beautiful, as you can see, you know. Yeah, so this is Onga Taronga. People call it Ronga. <laughs> as a short, uh, they shorten it as Ronga. Ronga for Rongai. So, guys, uh, you know, and so today, guys, I want to address, uh, I want to talk about something that is uh, so funny or unique, you know, uh, depending on how you will. <laughs> You will take it. It's not funny anyway, but uh, it's somehow sad because, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, um, here in Rongai, guys, uh, Rongai is near the national park, which is known as uh, um, Nairobi National Park. And Nairobi National Park, guys, is a it's a park that you know is you know Nairobi is known as. Uh, one of the very unique cities in the world which have in fact is the only one okay 
I think it's the only one. The only city which has a national park in it that is Nairobi, Kenya. I don't know why you know you have you haven't visited Nairobi yet. <laughs> so you should be visiting Nairobi for sure because Nairobi um is the capital city of Kenya and uh, you'll come and explore the animals, the big fives, you know. And uh yeah, you find them in Kenya here. So that park is just close to this point where I'm pointing. Not so far. And uh, the funny thing, or the unique, not even the unique, it's the funniest, you know. I don't know how people cooperate or uh, live this life without, uh, you know. People are funny. That's what I can say. Because uh, can you imagine something? Uh, this park... Oh, there's something here. So guys, uh, you know, there's something funny about uh, this park. And uh, the funny thing is that, you know, uh, um, oh, there's a jet, there's an aircraft coming in. Um, you know, here in Rongai, there's uh, two lines, two lanes or two lines that... Uh, two airports in here in Nairobi whereby the landing uh, usually takes place uh, in between as you can see this is an aircraft I don't know if you can see it. let me see I can show you it's a jet oh the sun is too much but you can hear it so um, guys um, you know the funny thing about uh, uh, um, Oh, the unique thing about this uh, Rongai is that uh, they ha we have two airports that are not here in Rongai but in town. That is uh, one in Wilson and the other one in that's Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, which is the main airport in Kenya. Uh, Wilson uh, is also the main, but uh, usually it takes uh, usually uh, the, it operates domestic uh, aircrafts. That's uh, the most uh, of them that usually yeah operates that is wilson airport the light aircrafts yeah so uh when the landings usually um when the la this is when where we are right here we have two approaches like uh one for wilson which is the, the light aircraft that has just passed above me is going straight to wilson that pilot is navigating through uh, this point as he diverts through Ngong Forest above there and then slightly descending to Wilson. And the other route is just opposite me, which is the other side. That is the international one. That is for Jomo Kenyatta. The big Boeing Airbuses, big jets, you know. And uh, yeah, they land through that. That we'll find in the next video. Don't forget to watch. You will understand more about... Uh, aviation in the next video i was talking about uh, rongai and uh, something i can call it funny because okay it's not funny anyway but uh, <laughs> this thing has been trending for a while you know here in rongai this there's, there's, there's something i want you to to understand and first of all i've been, I've, I've, I've started by telling you there's two parts like Okay, like one, there's, an, um, there's a park in Nairobi here, which is known as um, the Nairobi National Park, just close to, to, to where I am. And guys, there's something funny, is that, can you imagine, inside that park, because it's so close to this side, but as you can see, there's a Gong Forest right there, a Gong Forest, and then we have a park just above uh, me, just above here. So, guys, I want you to imagine something. Uh, these animals sneak out of the park and come to, to, to homestead where people live. Can you imagine? They sneak out and come out uh, of, the, of the park. Can you imagine? So, lately, we have been having uh, some cases uh, that uh, the lioness or the lions they have been sneaking out of the park and coming uh, to where people live like homestead like these areas where you see uh, people around can you imagine the, 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 the big animals like the big birds you can imagine like an 
you can imagine like <laughs> you can imagine like a lion a lioness and they usually sneak at night at night so me first of all i have uh, so many questions to answer to ask because uh, you know we have those people who the kai kws people they garden they they well you know they are known as uh, um you know the wardeners or something those who take care of animals at the at the at the at the park how come they don't really like it's like the okay i don't know how they because what i understand is that they have to fence this uh, this park completely so that uh, no animal can sneak in or go out you know because it's so unfortunate like you can imagine an animal sneaking out of the park and coming in inside guys inside homestead of people where people live that's so crazy because uh, as of me that is uh endangering uh, human lives and of course it's, it's the truth you know and uh guys i want you to imagine have you ever met an, an animal like a lion or a lioness have you ever seen one because as of me <laughs> i cannot even imagine you seeing one or watching such a uh, uh, an animal is so dangerous you know and you can imagine uh people like like people watching like an animal sneaking inside from a, from a point of view like an animal coming in you can imagine from uh, a certain area and coming in sneaking into people's homestead you know it's so dangerous and it's so uh, uh life threatening thing because you can imagine at the end of the day uh what if what if you, you you hear some cases that people have been eaten by animals or uh, something like that you know it's so dangerous and i i cannot even imagine <laughs> cannot i cannot wait to imagine such a thing so it's something that is happening and uh animals have been sneaking and not even once this is the almost the fifth time the same cases is is, is trending like uh, you know and uh it's so dangerous to human uh, human 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 life you know it's so endangering like the other day it was just uh, two weeks ago where uh, whereby uh, they were the cases they reported a case whereby an an animal like you know there's a place known as nazarene that's the, that's the place where the the the, the park borders uh, uh, you know nazarene is a university where it borders uh, it borders the park exact bordering the park so you can imagine the park uh, bordering uh, that point and uh, so it was at night when uh, the lioness i think i'll show you this clip where the lioness came in hey guys the sun is too much came in and uh, you can imagine sneaked into the into people's homestead and luckily enough there was no one at, out at that time but the cctv camera was on recording and you can imagine guys what really happened next is that after the 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 the, the lion lioness nicked inside the the you know the homestead it met a dog you can imagine the dog like it was barking barking and then do you know what happened <laughs> I think you'll have to watch this clip. What happened is that uh, the lioness sneaked inside the park, I mean the home, and as the lion was, as the dog was barking, it it was attacked by this uh, lioness. And the lioness came out like this hey, animal is like, guys, <laughs> lion is so strong. Lion is very, very strong animal, very powerful. You know it has that's why you see you you hear the lion is the king of of the jungle yeah true lion is the king of jungle because that thing is very powerful so at, as it was sneaking inside can you imagine it took a dog from the ground and climbed it with up to the top of the wall and went with it outside eating the dog like finishing completely a dog a big dog not a small one <laughs> Of course, a big dog. So you can imagine, it was something that uh, really shocked me, and I was uh, funny. It was, it was something that it was funny, you know. So um, 
and okay it's funny because it's an animal that attacked an animal what if it was a, a person who was attacked very 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 unfortunate and we thank god that never happened but uh, i think the, the, there is a day that something that that, that happened though god protects us that's what i can say god usually protects uh, the people but the kenya ws like kenya wildlife service should uh, protect this uh, should do some you know should have some mechanism of uh, protecting this kind of animals so that um they cannot be endangered endangering uh, human lives and you know the lives not even even human that dog was not supposed to die because it's a security of a of a, of a home so you can imagine that uh, something like that happened really happened so it's something that uh, I, I, i'll just say that uh, it is uh, you know it's not uh, something that we we expect to hear all the time even a single time because we are we, we are happy we are we are having a park but that park should be protected and should be closed so that we don't um encounter such things such risks you know yeah and not only animals uh, i mean lions there are so many animals that usually sneak out of that park i can take you example of uh, wathok wathok are, you know okay they are not so dangerous maybe because i've not seen them attacking but uh, they have been i have spotted them more than once more, okay even right now if you if you've passed somewhere there that uh, when you are climbing from uh, here in rongai when you 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 reach a place known as masai lodge when you are climbing this a uh, uh, university which is known as multimedia in that university multimedia <laughs> even the students are used to <laughs> the wathogs they are like their friends now because there are so many they come into the classrooms also even you know you can imagine they come into the into the the classrooms yeah so it's something that uh, you can uh, imagine it's happening yeah for sure it's happening so um i i think uh, that, that should be a, a, a caution to the government you know uh, they should be doing something i don't know if they took uh, action but the reason as to why i'm making even this video is that uh, i've remembered since i'm in rongai i've remembered this kind of thing and it happens more than once it has happened more than once that's why i'm even i'm even making this video because uh it's not even once you know if it's something that happen, happens once you can you can assume and say okay it was just a, a mistake you can but something like it's, it's happening all the time guys is not uh, something to joke about in fact this is a life threatening thing you know endangering lives you know it's not something to to to, to joke about and uh yeah so that's how it is people are, are, are you know you're in the in the in this stadium people are, are busy doing the the activities and as you can see let me show you some of the activities right here like you can see it's a car someone is trying to to you know to yeah someone is being a uh, taught how to to drive yeah so it is what it is the sun is uh, too much and then you can imagine the uh, people are coming into the stadium people are, uh, are watching uh, some some spectators right here like me <laughs> and some footballers have arrived they are organizing themselves to start the match yeah so here is uh, an akea stadium like you can it's found in rongai whereby you can come and adventure you can come and you know you will not get bored yeah so guys uh, it is what it is and uh you know let me show you the views and enjoy how it looks like and today the weather is so cool this it's not even raining like it's usually uh in most of the time so uh not not raining sorry it's not, <laughs> by the way it doesn't rain all the time rarely but uh, something that happens is that uh, the freeze the cold is always there like the you wake up very early in the morning like in the last week the whole of last week there was, there was no sun there was no sunlight throughout the day the day is not even the day the days from monday to monday like the the the, the weather was uh, very 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 not uh, pleasing at all especially for the flights <laughs> You know, I'm I'm a av geek, you know, av geek or aviation enthusiast, you know. So I love aviation, and uh, 
it comes to my concern oh yeah whereby <laughs> when i see something like that like the weather was so cool so not cool so um cloudy and the clouds were so low that uh, the pilots were not having a clear visibility like like for example in most cases when they are up to approaching a, 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 a landing spot like for example wilson airport right here and uh in jomo Kenyatta, like something that that most happens we call it uh, in 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 such uh, situations you know a pilot cannot land where he is not able to see like you cannot step down assuming this is a runway but you, you don't have a visual visual approach like a visual or a clear um, uh, eyes to watch yeah to 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 yeah, to, to observe like you must be sure of where you're landing you know and just in case you're not sure and you have just uh, uh, come too low what you will always do we call it uh we, they perform something that uh, we call a, a go around so the pilot the pilot will just initiate that throttle put put a uh, full power and then uh, the jet or the the plane climbs up and it goes and circles again and tries a new approach as a way of you know avoiding these uh, issues so guys that's much in aviation topic today i'm just mixing <laughs> but in aviation you will learn this uh uh watch in the next video guys you'll watch uh, this uh, thing and guys uh something about ronga is that uh, ronga is very beautiful i've shown you something you see we have uh i don't know the sun is too much you cannot be able to see we have ngong hills just right there right there we have ngong hills and then um, it has some turbines you know they some people call it windmills or okay they are windmills i don't know they are windmills so they are usually rotating at the top of the mountain so it looks uh, very beautiful at uh, you know when you are surfing because the winds are, are so much there and uh, at high speed you know yeah so it is what it is Ronga is beautiful guys and uh wow 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 look how beautiful it is you know yeah so keep on enjoying the views and uh for those who have been subscribed to this channel kindly consider subscribe right now subscribe drop a comment let me know where you're watching me from and uh i really do appreciate and uh yeah that is what it is you know the sun is too much i don't know guys if you can see me clearly but the sun is uh, too much too much too much yeah so let me give you a short views of uh, this place that's our sunset over the uh, over there over there <laughs> the sunset the sun is going down 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 there yeah. the sun is heading down and people are playing football no the young men this is how big the stadium looks like. People are training, 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 training very hard. You know. Yes, it is what it is. And this is Nakel Stadium, for those who don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's known as Nakel. Nakel Stadium. Nakel Stadium. Very big. Very, 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 very big in Rongai. I think it's the main, the big one, the big stadium in Rongai. This one. And it has a very beautiful sunset view. Yes. Uh, and the mountains, like the hills, you see, that is, uh, yeah, the Ngong Hills. That's that, that one. It's known as Ngong Hills. As you can see, the turbines are rotating up there. The turbines, yeah, the turbines and uh